They're supposed to know that I need help. It says it in the system. No seats, so we are on the floor. That's okay. Good girl. Can you find our way? Can you find our way down to the plane? I can't see him gesturing. I don't know what to do. He doesn't understand what I need. We have like an hour and a half to wait. And I don't know how I'm going to pee or throw my dinner away. This is really not ideal. Girl, you are not Beyonce. Step off. Hello people, I'm Kirsten. Welcome back to Just Smile for a Second. After a few days in Utah, I am going to actually go over to Alaska and see my parents where they are stationed in Fairbanks right now. And I thought because I'm going by myself and I have a delay and during COVID um, that you'd wanna come see what it's like for a blind person to travel alone and what we have to do. I'm very nervous about the delay for various reasons that I'll share with you throughout this, but Joe's with me now. I have my jacket and my hoodie in case I'm freezing cold. I've got all my stuff. And I don't know if he'll let, they'll let him go through the airport with me to the gate. I'm not sure, but we'll find out when we get there. Okay, at the counter. So one of the reasons I get so much anxiety about this is because sometimes there's a communication issue and they're supposed to know that I need help. It says it in the system, but it's not always communicated well. And there was a really got, nice guy downstairs that said, I'll call and have somebody come for you. But we're up here and they haven't come. So the, this really nice lady at the ticket counter is calling again. Thank you so much. No problem. And they said someone named Heidi will be up here too. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. So you always have to double check like, hey, I called for assistance. Can you please confirm that someone's coming? And nine times out of 10, you need to make that call. <laughs> it's good to confirm. There is nobody here. Oh my gosh. I, oh, <laughs> thank you. You guys, this is the nicest family restroom I have ever been in. It is so clean. Oh my gosh. Okay. No seats, so we are on the floor. That's okay. And the baby's ready to go. Yeah. There's really not a lot of people here. We zoomed through security. The girl was so nice. This airport is so nice. And the counter person is nice. She moved the person next to me so that we'd have a whole aisle. And I'm just like, I'm so grateful. I'll explain more when we get on the plane. Yeah. Gotta call Joe now. Good girl. Can you find our way? Can you find our way down to on the plane? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on to the plane. Thank you so much. I'm 11 Delta, please. Yeah. Are you happy? Look at this. You have a whole aisle to yourself. <laughs> Look at that whole aisle. Whoa. I have a whole aisle, huh? Look at all this foot space for her to just lay out. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Do you want a treat? Oh, do you want a treat? Good girl. So we made it on the plane. Um, Honestly, that was super smooth and I was really happy with it. I'm most nervous about getting to Seattle. Your boarding door is now closed. If you're using any portable electronic device, now is the time to place that in airplane mode. Make certain the cellular service <laughs> has been turned off. You may continue to use your mobile devices as long as they are set. Are you looking at the aisle, baby? <laughs> she likes to sit like this and check out everyone. Uh, so I'm just making sure people are where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Back in the bathroom. So, okay. Uh, so they had a guy that came to the gate for us, but he doesn't speak English. And that's really hard because 
I can't see him gesturing. I don't know what to do. He doesn't understand what I need. I'm really stressed out. I'm trying to feed the dog and she's not eating. And I don't know how to tell him like all the things I have to do. He just was gonna take me to my gate, but I need to let the dog out. I need to get dinner. I need to pee. I don't know. My stomach hurts, you guys. All right, this is stressful. Uh, the dog would not get busy. She wouldn't go pee or poop because the pet relief area is disgusting here. Uh, the Starbucks people were really rude. I don't know how I always end up back at Starbucks, but I do. The, I'm now at my gate um, and I have like an hour and a half to wait and I don't know how I'm going to pee or throw my dinner away. I have this stuff. And I'm really nervous because we have a four hour flight and the dog has not peed. So this is really not ideal. The guy was really nice, but he didn't understand me. So like I asked for another pet relief area and he was like, it's right here. I was like, oh. It was, it's hard because when there's a communication gap, it makes things really difficult. Okay, flight number two, huh? Yeah, flight number two. And we got to go pee. Except you didn't want to go pee. I was so scared. She's gonna hate me on this flight. You're welcome. Somebody can rob you. Hello, thank you. We're gonna land soon. Hi, girl. We're gonna land. Oh my gosh, you guys. She was so good. She slept for most of the flight. But I know now she's going to zoom off the plane and be like, I have to pee, I have to pee, I have to pee. So now you know, this is what it's like to travel blind and even during COVID. I wanted to get some of the stuff in Alaska, um, but the process was a little crazy and the dog was, as you saw, freaking out. But honestly, you guys, the most important thing that I really want you to understand or know is that sometimes there are going to be people that are not very nice and you as the blind person and any blind person watching this is going to know exactly what I'm talking about. You sort of have to keep it together. Like you can't just lash out. Like the gate agent at Seattle, I wanted to be like, girl, you are not Beyonce, step off. But I didn't because I needed help, right? That was the main goal at the end of the day. And I don't know what she's going through or what type of day she was having. And guess what? She did the rest of her stuff. She came to talk to me, asked me if I needed anything, helped me find someone for the bathroom, all that stuff. And she was super nice. And so I just caught her at a bad time. And yeah, you just, when you're traveling alone and you have a disability, you need to be sort of willing to understand that like you need help at the end of the day. So you gotta be nice to these people. Don't let yourself get shat on, but you know what I'm trying to say, guys. I'm really tired. It's like, I don't even know how late. Hi, it's doggy extravaganza. Also, you guys, my parents have a poop emoji pillow. Can you just imagine how much fun it would be to sleep with one of these? Well, I am. And now I will tell you about it later. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you also have experiences traveling alone with some sort of disability and you wanna 
<laughs> sound off and share the horror stories. Thanks again, guys. Have a great night. Have a great day. Don't forget to smile for a second and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.